this microphone. Speaker, hello. Okay, so I'd like everyone to say hi to Ethan. Did you hear all that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. <clears throat> Waiting for sound to kick in. Okay. Got, got, got some accompaniment. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hear that? Good music. All right. The shiver just run down your spine because I was thinking of you, love. I wanted to touch you, but you are here. So I touch myself instead. <laughs> Naked, I moaned your name into the darkness. But it felt so good getting lost in the direct contact of hot hands on cold skin. <laughs> then, when I came, I rolled over to spoon a body that's three hours away. And start dreaming in hopes I'd wake to find you in my arms. Except, that's just a fantasy. Because it's not exactly the way things happen. The lights were on, and I was wearing pajamas. <laughs> I was a bit overheated, and I had to clean up before I could roll over and fall asleep. <laughs> this is the problem with idealized poetry that relies on tired tropes of arousal. It often isn't true to experience. So I'm so now I'm standing here, naked before you, hoping you'll forgive my lies. Because the sex I want to have is about sex, is about trust and understanding. It's about laughing in the middle and pausing to say I love you as I stare into your eyes. And yes, it's also about masturbating to thoughts of you when you can't be here. <laughs>